Fantastic. You know what, Devin? I appreciate you calling. The thing is, my daughter's got a real estate license, you know, so if I list the house, I'm going to have to list with my daughter, but I do appreciate you calling. You know what, Ron? That's fabulous. I'm hearing that your daughter has a real estate license, and we can actually pay her a commission if she brings a buyer. Isn't that great? Fantastic. Now, one thing that I'll say, what I like to do instead is I like to say, wow, that's really cool that your daughter has a real estate license. And if we get together this afternoon between three and six, I'm going to show you how I can net you the most amount of money and pay your daughter a real estate commission. So what works better today, three or six? Okay. Because then that way you're going to be able to at least set the appointment and then move from there. Hey, Devin, you know what? I appreciate you calling, but I got to chat with my wife about it. And we're actually planning on going to the ocean for the weekend anyway. So can you just give me a call like Tuesday or Wednesday next week? Yeah, I understand that you would like to speak with your wife, Ron. But let me ask you this. Was your wife on board with selling the property originally so you folks could move down to sunny California and be closer to your grandchildren? <laughs> Well, yeah, absolutely. I think she's actually the one leading it. <laughs> All right, she will definitely appreciate this. What I'm going to do is get together what we call a property profile report, packed full of information about our company here at Century 21, a little bit of information about myself, your home, and some homes that have sold in the immediate neighborhood. I'll actually drop that off by 1 o'clock this afternoon. That way, when we get together at 4 o'clock, we can talk about getting your property sold to the best buyers with the best offers. Not only that, do it while you folks are at the beach. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Let's do that. What time again? Either uh, three or six, which works better for you and your wife, Natalie, Ron, three or six. Oh, let's do six o'clock. Hey, Devin, you know what? I really appreciate you calling, but you know, the thing is I got problems with my house. You know I mean? It's just, I got freaking paint peeling off on the side of it. And I've got a bunch of maintenance that I've kind of been deferring, you know, and I really got to get that maintenance done. I need to get some painting done on the outside of the house and I got to get some cleanup done. Can you do me a favor? Just give me a call back in a couple of weeks. Let me get some work done on the house and then we can talk about listing it. Okay. Absolutely, Ron. It sounds like you're concerned that you have some work that needs to be done on the property. And the last thing that we want you to do is put money into the property. That's not going to be the best return on your investment, right? Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. So before you make any decisions, let's do the right thing. Let's get together tomorrow at two o'clock or four o'clock. We'll take a look at those repairs and make sure that you're going to get the best return on your investment. Sound good? Yeah, absolutely. That sounds great. Hey, Devin, you know what? I really appreciate you calling, but you know what? The thing is, I just am kind of, you know, I think I'm just going to take the holidays off. I'm just kind of frustrated. You know, the house has been on the market six months, man. I haven't even gotten any offers and yeah, we're just kind of tired of it. So I'm going to leave the house off the market for the holidays. Can you do me a favor and give me a call back? Why don't you call me back in January? Sound good? Yep, Ron, I understand that you're a little frustrated that we're coming up on the holidays and your home still hasn't sold. But do you know what concerns me about what you just said? Uh, no, sir. What's that? Well, Ron, you could potentially be taking tens of thousands of dollars by waiting till these holidays go by when we can bring you a full price offer right now. So, Ron, let me ask you this. If I were to bring you a, a full price offer in the next 30 days, are you in a position to get your plan A back on track? Well, how are you going to do that? How are you going to bring me an offer in 30 days? Well, when we get together, I'll show you exactly how Century 21 brings the best offers from the best buyers. And not only that, we do it in the shortest amount of time. So does 2 o'clock or 4 o'clock work for us to get together so I can show you exactly how I'm going to get your home sold and get your plan A back on track? Uh, well, I suppose four o'clock would work good, but you know, the thing is to be honest with you too, I'm kind of concerned about what's going on in the economy. You know, the interest rates are really high and I've also kind of seen that there's not a lot of people selling homes right now. I mean, it just, you know, everybody seems to be just kind of waiting, I think, to see what's going to happen. So, you know, we're just kind of thinking maybe we should wait until, you know, at least after the first of the year, maybe even springtime next year before we put the house on the market. What do you think about that? I can definitely understand your concern. 
you know, with the interest rates and the lack of inventory, but that puts you in a great position. A lot of sellers are actually offering buyers uh, temporary interest rate buy downs or money towards, you know, their closing costs to make their monthly payment more affordable. And we can talk about that when we get together tomorrow at four o'clock or six o'clock. What time works better for you around four or six? I think probably six o'clock would work great. Thank you very much, Devin.